Every four years, Americans vote for a president. As the fishy culture of politics are not profound, as one will be voting for the lesser of two evils, attempting to find some unquestionable common ground. Television ads tell stories of political lives as their mouths speak the language in patriotic speeches, dancing from their chapped, unreliable, voter-based lips with polls to tell them where the manipulation reaches. Many lost citizens are not certain either speaks for them, for most campaigners have never been poor or middle class, or if they were, perhaps they have forgotten the anguish of what it is actually like to be considered last. The campaigners allege they know pain and deprivation, but many citizens are not certain they recognize the disagreeable struggles of people out of work. And many citizens are not certain they can empathize. Their poll governing words are like arrows pointing downward. As serious human problems continue to compound, while many frail Americans remain poor and jobless, but presidential candidates claim to have common ground. Many do not realize politicians are not a prophet, and they cannot change everything in proper magically. For they are human beings full of policies and babble. As many voters are homeless and jobless, tragically. Many citizens want to believe in the dizzy myth that politicians can solve all issues with good results. But that is simply an empty dream, daft and childish. For campaigner goals are full of other party insults. Many want the economy not to lie in ripped ruins. But the president and senator are not homeless bound. As a nation suffers and reels in shame by politics. Realizing that most have no realistic common ground. Political debates grow harsher in grave ugliness when most citizens, middle class or poorer, want progress. But the president is not a blessed holy warrior. As citizens settle for hope of personal conquest. Those that run for president should know financial struggle, of being poor, or understand risk of losing a house, to relate to the people living paycheck to paycheck, not being able to provide for children and a spouse. And so I vote for the one who relates to me the most. As the voices of political analysts around. But I only care that the president can speak to me. Or at least have some dignity. And unfeigned common ground. 